Last time on Total Drama Random Island, each camper was tasked with facing their fear. Some rose to the occasion while others couldn't handle it. In the end, Killer Bass technically lost as their win percentage was lower than the Screaming Gophers. Amy tried to turn Duncan against Jock, but due to Duncan's guardian angel, Amy couldn't succeed and she was taken off the island. Taylor in Confessional says that things are really dire now. Now that her only ally is gone, she'll need to slither into someone's good graces. Taylor goes to Duncan and asks if he is free, and Duncan says that he can spare a minute for her, I guess. Taylor cries and says that she can't leave yet, she was pressured by Amy to bully Sammy. She wouldn't do that on her own. Duncan says that she reaps what she sows, I guess. Taylor says that he doesn't get it. If they're getting on her case for just being a victim, what will Jock do next to split them apart? Duncan says that he can't guarantee a damn thing, but he wants Jock gone way before her, so she's safe for at least one vote. After that, it's up in the air. Taylor hugs Duncan and tells him that he's her hero. Taylor in Confessional says that it's definitely not happening. All part of the game. Katie asks Dwayne how she can ask Duncan out, and Dwayne says that honestly, he may not be the best one for that kind of advice. I mean, he got with his wife after he broke his leg doing a stunt on his bike to ask her to prom. Kitty says that's sweet though. She will ask Duncan after they all make it to merge and they hold majority. Chris welcomes them to their next challenge. They will have to canoe to Boney Island to find a campsite where they will light a fire. The team with the biggest fire wins the first part of the challenge and then they must paddle back to shore and the first team to arrive wins immunity. Ella asks if she can join with Justin and Justin says that may not be a good idea but Ella says that she has something really important to tell him but she has to know something from him first. In confessional, Justin says that he doesn't he doesn't know if he can date Ella, especially since he hasn't had the okay from management, but if she knows something, he has to listen. Lorenzo and Millie are on the canoe, and Millie says that she's worried about the potential dangers, and Lorenzo says not to worry, he'll protect her. Millie tells Casanova to calm down, and Lorenzo asks who that is. In confessional, Lorenzo says that he may be catching something for Millie. It's just that she's super smart and can do things he can't, they just make a good team. Jock asks Sammy and Spud if they think that Duncan would flip at a vote, and Sammy says that it is possible, while Spud says that he's not sure why they just don't vote Chris off. Duncan is with Taylor, and Taylor asks Duncan if he's ever thought about having a girlfriend, and Duncan says he hasn't really given it much thought. Usually he's in juvie, so there aren't many options, unlike if he was in jail where every cougar would be wanting to write to him. Kitty asks why Duncan would ever want to sit with Taylor over a nice girl like her, and Pete says that boys are stupid at that age. They're all about looks and glamour, not personality. Kitty asks if she's ugly, and Pete quickly denies it, saying she looks great. She just doesn't have all the makeup or money that Taylor does. Dwayne adds on to this, saying that he will come around. Taylor lays in Duncan's lap, and Kitty sighs. DJ and Owen are talking, and DJ says that he can't stay on the fence forever, he needs to vote one of them out at some point, but Owen says that he should do what he did, sell his vote to Millie for something she has. DJ is shocked and asks him to reiterate what he said. B and Elodie are bonding together and becoming closer to each other even though the camera will never show B talking. When they hit land, they get started on building a fire, and Dwayne says that this is just up his wheelhouse, but Duncan says they won't have to worry about doing it normally, just gather sticks and he will light it. DJ goes over to Justin and tells him that he heard something that may be interesting to him. Lorenzo asks Millie if that could be something bad, and Millie says it could be. She needs to make sure the vote is assured. Duncan gets fire first, but Elodie is able to use her glasses with the sun to light the fire having them be at an even start. Duncan yells they need more firewood, and Jock grabs the Screaming Gopher's oars and throws them into the flames. Millie yells that those were her team's oars, and Jock just says oops before laughing as he walks away. B comes back suddenly from the woods and had everybody step back as he throws a fire starter into the fire, causing a huge explosion. Chris tells them that the Screaming Gophers are the winners of the first part. Killer Bass quickly start with a commanding lead over Screaming Gophers, but DJ says he will save them. DJ in Confessional says that he's scared of water, but he needs to do this to prevent his two friends from fighting. The Screaming Gophers are catching up, but Jock stands up with Zor and hits Millie, knocking her out of the canoe. Lorenzo yells out for Millie as she falls into the water, and he jumps in after her. Killer Bass make it back first, and Jock in Confessional says that if you're not first, you're last, and he'll do anything to be in first. Lorenzo yells that Jock could have killed Millie, but Chris says that 
that would be one less person to worry about, wouldn't it? Screaming gophers, you'll be at the elimination ceremony. Before the elimination, Millie asks B and Elodie who they're voting for, and Elodie says it would only be fair to vote Justin since Lorenzo actually cares about his teammates. At elimination, Chris tells them that here, marshmallows represent life. If you do not receive a marshmallow, you must walk the knock of shame, board the boat of losers, and you can't come back. Ever. Marshmallows go to... DJ. Ella. B. Elodie. Owen. Millie. And the final marshmallow of the night goes to... Lorenzo. You are safe. Ella tells Chris to hold on before pulling out the immunity idol, which shocks Millie. Justin in Confessional says that he definitely chose the right girl. Ella in Confessional says that she had a heartfelt conversation with Justin and she knew she needed to save him. Lorenzo is dragged off, yelling it's rigged, before yelling to Millie saying he thinks she's super cool. Millie in Confessional says that she's gonna miss Lorenzo, especially now that she's gonna be the main target now. Chris tells them that the idol has now been played. Perhaps your only lifeline has now been used up. It's all a fair game from this point on. Rest up. Tomorrow's a new day. And that's that for episode 7 of Total Drama Random Island. What did you think? Question of the week. Now that the rivalry between Lorenzo and Justin has been temporarily concluded, is there any hope for Millie, Elodie, or B to make it to merge? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll see you all next time on Total Drama Random Island.